Joy Tan snatched from the jaws of death by a kind-hearted stranger. A recovering drug addict shares his life-changing story. I feel like it would be a waste of my life to just keep it a secret. He says before his overdose, he had an eating disorder, was suffering from anxiety, depression, even attempted suicide 20 times. He's now talking because he finds himself chasing through long days the shadow of a vanished man who saved his life. Corrine Zell joins us now, and Corrine also, he has a cautionary tale about drug addiction. George and Carol, the 19-year-old, wants to let those struggling with their own addiction know there's hope and there's life after drugs. We need emergency and police dispatch to the Piggly Wiggly on Durand Avenue behind for an intentional overdose. That was the moment 19 year old JJ Zituni thought he was going to die. Like, oh my God, this is the end. It's been almost two months since he overdosed. And I consider myself very lucky. The beginning of December, JJ was hiding from those who care about him. He remembers walking around high at this Piggly Wiggly in Racine. Alcohol and then weed and then Adderall and then um, what I um, overdosed on was the caffeine pills that I bought from online. JJ called his caseworker when he was on the ground in this alley behind the grocery store. He couldn't explain where he was, so she told him to yell for help. He remembers a delivery truck driver running up to him right before he blacked out. If it weren't for him, I, I would have died. He calls that night in the alley a wake up call. So that was definitely the last straw for me saying, OK, this is it. I'm 19 years old. I don't want to lose my life to drugs. JJ wants to find the DiGiorno truck driver who answered his cry for help. He truly did save my life, and I definitely consider him my guardian angel. And he hopes his story can help save someone else's. Honestly, I don't know to this day why I didn't die, but I definitely feel like there's a reason why I did it. JJ admits he has a long way to go, but he's on the right track. He says he's been sober ever since his overdose, and he just got a job. If you know anything about the driver he calls his guardian angel, let us know. George and Carol? All right. I think I'm optimistic. Thanks a lot. For yes. That.